600,000 people go missing in the United States each year. Tens of thousands remain mysteriously missing. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Mysteriously Missing. I'm Karen. And I'm Carl. This episode discusses the disappearance of Maureen L. Kelly. She's also known as a new. Her date of last contact was June 9th, 2013, over seven years ago. This episode retraces Anu's last known location in Cougar, Washington, in Skamania County at the Canyon Creek Campground. This campground is located in the Gifford Pinchot National Forest in southwest Washington State. The campground is 60 miles northeast of Portland, Oregon, and 35 miles south of Mount St. Helens. It is 43 miles northeast from her home of Vancouver, Washington. Vancouver, Washington is just 10 miles above Portland. Gifford Pinchot National Forest, where Anu was camping, is 1.32 million acres. It extends along the western slopes of the Cascade Range from Mount Rainier National Park to the Columbia River. Now a brief description of the case. Maureen Kelly, who we will use her nickname Anu, left her group of friends at Canyon Creek Campground on foot. She advised she was going on a spiritual quest and left wearing no clothes and only a fanny pack. She was last seen heading towards the woods in a creek on June 9th, 2013 at about 5 p.m. She was reported missing by friends in the early hours of the following morning, June 10th, 2013. Investigators believe it's likely Kelly died in a mishap in the wilderness, but her body has never been found and her case remains unsolved. She has no piercings or tattoos that are reported that we know of. Anu is described as a very laid-back, carefree girl, according to her half-sister, Sherry Kopu of Vancouver. Anu's brother described her as comfortable and capable with the outdoors. Anu wrote on Facebook that her occupation was guru at Spreading the Love. She posted a picture with a caption, There is no path to happiness. Happiness is the path. On her YouTube page, Anu posted videos of herself playing the ukulele and beatboxing, a form of making percussion sounds with one's voice and mouth. And here's an audio of Anu performing. There's a steel train coming through. I would take it if I could. And I would not lie to you because someday morning soon will come. Absolutely sweet recording. Michael, her brother, wrote on Facebook, I love my sister more than words can explain, and thank you for everyone's wishes and prayers. Anu was born on September 26, 1993. She was 19 years old when she went missing, and she would be 26 years old now. She is 5'7", 150 pounds. The Charlie Project states her ethnicity is Pacific Islander. Wikipedia says her nationality is Irish and Hawaiian. Based on her pictures, her hair is brown and long, and her eyes are also brown. Her family is her mother, Mapuana Kelly, her father, Sean Kelly, and a news mom's Facebook page says she has six children, Sherilyn, Sharina, Colt, Nalu, Anu, and Michael. Anu's personal Facebook page claims that she got her GED. She went to Lewis and Clark High School for a bit and got expelled. She went to Hudson Bay High School her freshman year and was expelled as well a couple of months later. So she got in some trouble in her high school years. 
Her Facebook page also claims she was living in Vancouver, Washington at the time of her disappearance and states her hometown is Carrigaline, Ireland. So now let's get into the timeline. June 9th, 2013, a Sunday. Sherry Kopu, her half-sister of Vancouver, said, Anu phoned her shortly before heading into the National Forest. She called me before she left to go camping with friends and asked if she could borrow some camping gear, Sherry said. She was excited about going. She told me she loved me. That's normal for her. She's an affectionate person. Sherry said Anu made no mention of plans to go alone on a hike without clothes in what acquaintances described to authorities as a spiritual quest. That concerns me, she said. According to a group of friends who were at the campground with Anu, at approximately 5 p.m., she did state that she was going on a spiritual quest. Subsequently, Anu removed all of her clothes and shoes and walked into the woods wearing only a fanny pack containing knives, matches, and a compass. She stated she would be back by midnight. There was a few hours of daylight left when she left. Sunset was at 9 p.m. or four hours later. Although the weather on the day she disappeared was mild, temperatures that night dipped into the 40s. Monday, June 10th, the Skamania County Sheriff's Department stated that a news friends reported her missing shortly after midnight in the early hours of that Monday. So that was proactive of her friends to not wait until the morning to report her missing. They knew something was wrong when she didn't return by midnight. A search was initiated that Monday and continued throughout the week. Bare footprints matching a new shoe size were found crossing Canyon Creek and climbing the opposite bank to Forest Road 54, where the trail was lost. Now they don't know where she went from there. Her footsteps were fainter than they would have been with shoes on. Canine units were reportedly unable to pick up a trace. Why couldn't the dogs pick up a scent? That seems a bit unusual. By Monday night, temperatures in the area had dropped to the mid-40s with light precipitation, sufficient to cause hypothermia in a nude adult. She had no fire starter or any way to keep warm. After several searches in a four-square-mile area of the Gifford Pinchot National Forest, she was not found. Since Anu had few things with her when she left the campground, she didn't leave behind many clues, according to the Skamania County Sheriff's Office. She also was not protected from the rough terrain or the weather. According to Gary Walker, who is the Climbing and Programs Trails Manager at Mount St. Helens, exposure to the elements is the most dangerous thing about being lost. The area where Anu went missing was rough and steep, and some areas were covered in thick underbrush and wet moss as well. June 11, 2013, a Tuesday, the search resumed at 8 a.m., A new sister said, I'm being strong for my mom. She's taking this really hard. Amanda Ziegler of Vancouver, who's been friends with Anu for about a year, said she wouldn't be surprised to hear that Anu had gone on a spiritual quest. But, Ziegler said, she was surprised and concerned to hear Anu went into the woods naked and alone. It's strange because she would know better than to go out unprepared like that, Ziegler said. It doesn't make sense. Ziegler also said that both she and her boyfriend have previously spent time in the area where Anu was last seen. She said that her boyfriend is headed to the camping area where she disappeared to assist in the search for their friend. It's really cold here and pouring rain. I'm worried. Skamania County Under Sheriff Dave Cox said vehicles are being used in the search. He described the terrain as mountainous with heavy timber and brush. At this point, search crews didn't know if Anu is on a road a trail, or if she's moving through the forest. A thick cloud covering prevented helicopters from scanning the Canyon Creek area for signs of Anu, limiting rescue crews to search on land only. Under Sheriff Dave Cox said that temperatures also dropped since her disappearance. While the temperature was in the mid-70s on Sunday, it had fallen more than 20 degrees. The weather Monday night was in mid to upper 40s, he said, The cloud cover did move in, and so we're concerned that we might start getting some precipitation. Under Sheriff Dave Cox said that the weather conditions would play into her survivability factor. As this progresses, we get a little more concerned, he said, especially because she doesn't have any clothing and hypothermia can set in a lot quicker. 
12 4 by 4 search team searched the area again, and we were unable to locate Miss Kelly, he said. They found nothing that is related to this search and rescue mission. The undersheriff said search and rescue volunteers had found bare footprints that appeared to be the same size as a news foot, but it was unclear whether or not they belonged to her. And although if you are finding bare footprints out there, the likelihood of them being hers is quite strong. Most people do not go barefoot in the forest. While it was a little bit unusual for a 19-year-old to leave a campsite nude, save for a fanny pack, Under Sheriff Dave Cox said there was no indication that she was on drugs at the time of her disappearance. Skamania County Deputy said such operations stopped at 8 p.m. that Tuesday. So only two days out, they were scaling back the search party. But later, we'll see that they requested more people to help. June 12, 2013, Wednesday, Skamania County Sheriff Dave Brown did confirm that the search would now be scaled down until the end of the week. Search crews had scoured the area and think she may have crossed a creek to climb to the other side of the canyon. However, they said Anu's track stopped after a paved road, giving little clue as to where she could be. Our deputies will continue to check the area for the next couple of days, and at that time we will reevaluate our options if Miss Kelly does not return from her spiritual quest, he said. Twelve 4x4 search teams searched the area again today, and we were unable to locate Miss Kelly. They found nothing that is related to this search and rescue mission. A news brother described her as comfortable and capable with the outdoors. He said she's not as prepared as he would have liked. He's concerned with the way she left and that she didn't tell anyone about when she planned to return. Although her friends did state in one news article that she had said she would return by midnight. Other campers also expressed concern. The Canyon Creek area is steep and mountainous with heavy timber and brush. It's super cold at night, and without clothes, I really don't see how it's possible, said camper Liz Newland. There are bears out there, mountain lions. There's a number of things that could get you out there. Landslides are prominent out here, said another camper, Jessica Harmon. According to Sharon Ward with Pacific Crest Search Dogs, where she entered the creek is amazingly steep. It's called Canyon Creek Campground for a reason. It's very, very steep. So how she got down there barefoot is a wonder, and how she came up out of the bottom is also a wonder. Ms. Ward said Kelly's trace stopped on the paved road, so search crews spent much of the day trying to find where she may have left the pavement and then entered the woods. It's unknown whether she may be on a road or a trail in the area, or if she is still moving cross-country. Skamania County requested additional resources from the Washington and Oregon Departments of Emergency Management to get help finding her. June 15th, 2013, Saturday, six days after she walked into the woods. Three days after authorities had to suspend the rescue effort on Wednesday because they didn't have enough people to look for a new, they were then able to resume their search this Saturday. Under Sheriff Dave Cox said there were very limited resources during the week to continue to search while organized search efforts were suspended on Wednesday. Approximately 50 state certified searchers made themselves available for an all day search effort. It should be a good day to find her, he told ABC News. Right now, we're hoping she wants to be found. Under Sheriff Cox indicated that she had apparently talked about doing the spiritual quest for quite some time. He said that folks that she was with felt that this was something she needed to do. He added, there's always a risk of injury in the territory she's in. It's very deep and rugged. There's a lot of debris on the forest floor, so she could slip on moss or break a leg. There are a lot of different scenarios you could run into. The sheriff's office did not have photos of Anu for identification purposes, but authorities are aware of her physical characteristics. There aren't too many folks we know that are missing in the woods without clothes on, he said. A news family declined to comment to ABC News. The search for a new was called off about 6 p.m. that Saturday after about 75 volunteers from 17 search and rescue teams combed a four square mile search area in rugged terrain near Canyon Creek. Communications were coordinated by the communications unit from Yakult Fire District 13. According to the undersheriff, we have utilized very professional search and rescue personnel during these operations. 
They are very well trained and we rely heavily on their expertise to search very difficult terrains in various weather conditions. For us, not to be able to locate a new is very frustrating to everyone involved. One searcher received an ankle injury and one of the search canines split one of its paws. According to the undersheriff, we are very fortunate that we did not receive any more injuries today based upon the terrain we asked our search personnel to work in. We're assuming she's up there and moving around. It's going to be an issue of looking for a needle in a haystack. Even though the official ground search was halted earlier this week, people have continued to look for a new. He added, Deputies will routinely continue to patrol the area and detectives will continue to investigate any tips or leads that may develop. As credible information is obtained in the coming weeks, it will be evaluated and options discussed at that point. A news friends and family members created a Facebook page called Find a New Kelly. But as we research this case, this Facebook page is no longer up or active. June 21st, 2013, a NamUs case was created. July 20th, the sheriff's office hasn't received any new leads about her whereabouts. Her DNA has been submitted to the National Missing Persons Database. July 24th, 2013, a month and a half after she went missing. Avenue Lounge hosted a benefit concert. The benefit started at 8 p.m. Wednesday in the Orchards area. All proceeds went to the Bring Anu Kelly Home Fund. And also this fund no longer exists. So let's recap. Anu was camping with friends at Canyon Creek Campground near Cougar, Washington in the Gifford Pinchot National Forest. She left her group of friends on foot saying she was going on a spiritual quest. She left wearing no clothes and only a fanny pack. She was last seen at about 5 p.m. She was reported missing by friends in the early hours of the following morning, June 10, 2013. Until this day, there are no clues leading to her disappearance. UCLA defines a spiritual quest as when a person is actively searching for meaning and purpose in life to become a more self-aware and enlightened person and to find answers to life's mysteries and big questions. Considering that Anu was only 19 at the time of her disappearance, is it so strange for such a young person to have engaged in a spiritual quest of this type? How comfortable was she in the woods alone and exposed? Deputy Jordan Spencer, search and rescue coordinator for the Cowlitz County Sheriff's Office, says about being lost in the woods, the best thing you can do is stay put. A stationary object is easier to find than a moving target. He continued, since searchers are several hours behind you, the less you wander, the better off you are. Searchers start wherever the person said they would be. While you're waiting, find a shelter and build a fire to warm you and help searchers find you. How could a new navigate the steep and mountainous area where she disappeared wearing no shoes or clothes? Since dogs track human scent, why didn't the dogs pick up her scent after Forest Road 54? Did she get into a vehicle? Was she abducted or did she use this as a cover-up to escape and start over somewhere else? Since sunset was at about 9 p.m., or four hours later after she walked out of the campground, could she have gotten a ride out? Or was four hours long enough to get her even deeper into the woods? And is that why they have not been able to recover her? How far could she have really gone barefoot? A news personal Facebook page, A New Kelly, is still up. Find a new Kelly has been taken down. She is still reported as missing on NamUs and the Charlie Project. If you have any information related to a news whereabouts, please contact the Skamania County Sheriff's Office. The phone number is 509-427-9490. A news family has been very quiet on this matter, so we encourage everyone to respect their privacy And hopefully one day there will be answers to the question, what happened to Anu? Thank you everyone for joining us here on Mysteriously Missing. Thanks everyone. (laughs) 